Welcome back. Every now and then we like to have a little fun with two Northwest treasures who know a thing or two about gardening in the PNW. So here to participate in a round of green thumb wrestling, so to speak, are Master Gardener Cisco Morris and Ed Hume. Come on out, guys. Go to your corners. Hey, 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 hey. Um, they've been doing this all morning. Are you warm up? Is everybody okay? Ready for the competition? So we're going to work on, obviously, potted gifts for Mother's Day, which yeah. is coming up this weekend. Don't forget. So you have yes. slightly different colored pots, but yep. same dimensions. Yep. You've already but, started planting. Well, no, yeah, I you just see he's cheating in. already. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? <laughs> Nobody said he couldn't. So, have you got them where you want them? Uh, not necessarily. I just wanted to provide some color up. A little, uh, okay. Yeah. Shall we? Let's take turns. Cisco, you start. Okay. So. I want a centerpiece in here that goes with the color of the pot. Mm -hmm. I want it to be in proportion to the size of the pot. And uh, this is a Monterey Cypress. It's called, so uh, pretty. oh, it's called Wilma's Goldcrest. Mm -hmm. It smells just like lemon pledge. What could oh, be that's better right. than you, you that? You've got this before. It yeah. smells good oh, and I it's love the, the tweedle color. out of this. Because you got that <laughs> fine texture in here now. So I could put things with bold foliage and big flowers around it, and you get this and you'll wonderful still see it. contrast. Are you putting it right in the middle, or yeah, are you I, going asymmetrical? Now, if this was going to be seen from the side, I could put it in the back. But I don't know. I'll probably have this in the middle of the garden somewhere. So I'm going to make this the centerpiece okay. on this. Okay, Ed, take a turn. What okay. are you looking to do and here? And I'm going to use this. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at it. The African daisy. Purple-eyed African daisy. So yes. Pretty. I Isn't love the yellow and gorgeous? purple. Yes. And that gives you all these chances to match up the, the foliage and right. the other colors. And it's kind of low, though, I've isn't got, it? I've got heliotrope <laughs> here for its fragrance. Yes. Look at a different foliage color because whenever we do containers, we use texture, we use different foliage colors, and we use different heights. And we always read the labels. So any of the package plants that have labels on them you mm -hmm. want to read them so you know whether it goes in the sun or the shade or not okay and when we're doing a container like this we can mix some of the shade plants in because remember the sun is on one side of the container but it's oh. fairly shady on the on other, the other. Side. so you can yeah. be oh, that's very exactly. good idea all right so <laughs> I'm going. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm here. going for some uh, African daisies here, Osteospermum. Look at the, the purple color on is that. Amazing. What oh a my copy. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we came right in so, to see that. So yeah. I'm going to stick a few of these in, and I, I uh, like your process here. Uh, yeah. Just jam it in there. And I like to, if I could do it, I like to use three of whatever I'm going to do. But ah. I do want some major contrast in here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put this Gerber, Daisy, mm -hmm. look at the color on Oranges that. Also. Oh, la, la. You and know, you the, the salesperson, I had to hand her a tissue. She burst into tears she when she saw yes. that. It was she really. She loved the live and tweedle it, She it. did. She That's loved them. She said, <laughs> oh, la, la, the minute she saw it. <laughs> So you're going to mix that in there. Yeah, I'll mix that in. Up. For in fact, I think I'll move this this way okay, so they can have Okay, you keep going, one. and we'll give that a turn okay. here. All right, yeah. Here, this is a, a gorgeous plant we call million bells. Mm -hmm. And th Ooh. this is a red one here. And these will trail down all the way over the side. I love it. Now, this plant. is the new red deep sweet potato. Only it climbs or it trails, either one. So you can use it beautifully. And look at the variegated foliage over that's here. So this pretty. is a licorice plant. That is Isn't that so pretty? pretty? It's a vine, actually. So that's a good lesson about trailing over the pot, but then also oh, using yeah. the foliage. Don't just pack it with flowers. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but if you can pack it with flowers, it can be a huge, beautiful bouquet. If you want yes. that look. Okay, hey, over here. Get over there. Now, I want something spiky in there to kind of match the centerpiece and add some extra height. So I'll, I'll sneak and take that out because nobody so can see cheating. it anyway. <laughs> not cheating. I, not sorry, cheating. I take that back. You are you are trying to hurry by just putting the pots in there, so we're not getting the full right. Effect of yeah, because it would plants. be hard. And but look at this. This is the coolest new plant out there. What is this? This is an amnesia. In the old days, if you planted an amnesia, they only bloomed when it was cool out. But now they got these new ones. They bloom all summer long. 
And so, and I mean, the color on that. Oh my gosh! The it's little just, spiky leaves are incredible. Is it? I love the leaves too, so it'll look really neat. Okay, see and, if you can get it in there. I know I this know is getting a work. little tricky Ed, here. Carry on. What do we got going okay. over here? Okay, here here we have a lantana, and this is a plant that the butterflies like. Oh, so that's we good. would include that. In fact, they probably would put it right in there, so that we encourage the butterflies. And we want not only fragrance, but we want something that brings our creatures into the garden that we really Very like good idea. as well. And <laughs> look at another foliage <laughs> color here. Yes. Just because you're going to need the, uh, <laughs> the, gloss the jaws of life. <laughs> we'll get that the uh, wax begonias. These are beautiful plants. They're an uh, easy to grow begonia that grows in sun or in shade. So if you have a border, for example, that's sunny and then all of a sudden it's shady these are perfect plants that'll go great for that, with that. purpose yeah. so i've learned you can put a few shade plants in the pot use your textures and bring some some creatures in with some of your plants and, how are you doing over and here taking them out of the pot helps yes <laughs> okay. we, so we will give you that what this is that to, this is going to weep over the side it's a super tuna so what? they grow really fast and look at the black I don't oh think I've ever gosh. seen it. It's like it's, black velvet. It's one of the coolest plants I've ever seen. So that'll look so cool weeping Coming down over the over side, the side of the pot. How long does it take for it to grow? Not very long at all. Okay. It'll be blooming, you know, already blooming. So I'd say this will start weeping down in a matter of a week or two maybe. Okay, good. So you've yeah. got those to go in there too. And, yep. and obviously, and like you said, taking them out of the pot will yep. help. And then I yeah. have five in there oh. somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. So you went with the straight symmetry. Well, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Well, I mean, that's interesting because you've got color match and a bit of symmetry going for you there. Yeah. And you've got yeah. kind of a wild garden another, look. And I'm going to use another, yeah, here another foliage color, which is the Dusty Miller. Mm -hmm. And I would Dusty use Miller's a shade a plant one. here at the back side. And this is one of the uh, new varieties of Impatience. And there are a whole bunch of new ones, by the way, that are really outstanding. All right, we're really down to the final minute, okay. and I okay. pronounce this. I think, no, I wait a minute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, there's <laughs> one more thing that Ed needs in oh. there because that's rabbit food right there. So yeah. go to it, buddy. It's and, uh, it's and if you need to pot. wear sunglasses this to look is, at mine, you yeah, feel oh, free yeah. here. I don't this know. is a Mother's Day gift, see? It's so. just, I, I think the money in the pot yeah. was, a, was a pretty good. Oh. Oh, oh, that's cheap, that's cheap. I don't know. I'm He's sorry. bribing the judge. I think it's going to have to be at this time. <laughs> <laughs> $110 I just made. Coming up next, sweet treats that are both gluten-free and vegan made right here in the Pacific Northwest. We're going to sample the goods after this break. Nice job, gentlemen.